So I paint on fabric using wax and dye. It's a process called batik, but that's a lesson for another day. What I do know is I know facets of my culture that touch on issues that I can reflect on American culture. And the American will say, there's something about that that speaks about me. I have a painting that I've painted of a shepherd who goes out early in the morning, drives his cows, his goats, very far to look for pasture and, and water. He spends the whole day. He only had a meal in the morning. Then he walks for miles. You know, you can't rush the cows. You have to go slowly while they are feeding. And the farther you go, the better the pasture. Then by late evening, he has to drive them back home again slowly. He has not eaten the whole day. He comes home. He finds it's been pouring rain. The place where the cows sleep outside in the open is clogged and muddy and the cows cannot sleep lying down and they cannot stand the whole night because if they lie down, you cannot milk them in the morning. If they stand up, the hooves will be softened. They cannot, no, they cannot walk for miles the next day. So he'll tell his wife, milk the cows. I want to take them to higher ground. He will walk them out to higher ground, maybe another two miles. Remember, he's a very tired man. The cows will sleep. Maybe he brought some firewood from inside the house. He'll light a fire just to be keeping warm, but patrolling the cows and the herds all night because we have cheetah, we have lions, we have wild animals. He'll take care of them. He will stay awake, not sleeping. He's tired. He has not eaten. He needs to sleep. But he says, my children need food. My family needs something to live by tomorrow. So he sacrifices his sleep for the sake of his children and his wife. The next day he brings the cows back home and he still has to drive them out for the day. But that painting is not about the, the shepherd. It's not about the cows. It's about you and I and the people we love. That sometimes you need to let go of those things that you hold dear to yourself and say, I can forgo this for the sake of those I say I love. I love you too. Because love is not just words. Love must express itself. You must sacrifice and let go of what you value for the sake of those that you love. It's not a religious philosophy. It's not a doctrine. It's a human, natural practice that says, I let go of what I value because I want to show that I love you. And that is not just my culture, that's American, that's Indian, that's Jewish, that's Arabic, any culture. If someone says they love you, they have to show it somehow. Sacrifice. I've heard of people, you know, uh, changing a place of livelihood from New York to go and live in Alaska, from Spokane to go and live in Indiana. Why? Because one of the family members has found a job that they really like, has found a place that they can go and uh, fend for their family. But the other member of the family has to let go of what they like so that they can allow the one they love to be happy. That's what love is. So when I create my art, it's not just about selling the art. Sometimes it's difficult. This piece, I've worked on this for three months. I'm not in a hurry to sell, but I know somebody will buy it. I've been painting since uh, maybe 20 years now. Every painting that I've created, I know who has it. Because everyone who has bought my painting, I've related to. I've had a conversation, whether by phone or in real life. But people have an attachment to my art because of what is behind the art. And when you buy my printed art or you buy my printed postcards, there's a caption that goes with it. Because I want to reach where you are, say something to someone else. But don't grow rich just to, to be material. It's meaningless. Because at the end of the day, it's what you did for others that they will remember. If you are cruel, they remember. If you are kind, they remember. It's up to you what you want your legacy to be. I want to be remembered 
for touching other lives that I came across and made them better than I found them. If I can do that, I have love.